Hey everybody, Crassin here. You know how in the beginning of the game, you start out with the spell flames, and you're going through uh, Helgen Keep, and you obtain the spell book for uh, Sparks. Shortly after that, you'll probably pick up Frostbite somewhere, and you use that flames quite a bit. Works pretty well. Then some point around a level 7, 8, 10 maybe, you think, you know, this spell just isn't quite strong enough anymore. So you go out and buy Firebolt. And that's a good spell. It's working great. You're roasting stuff left and right. And then you run into an Ice Wraith. And you start slinging those Fireballs at it. Or Firebolts, excuse me. And you keep slinging those until you add a magicka, and it's then you realize that every one of those spells missed. Because that little fetcher won't stay still. It's constantly moving around. So you chug a few restore magicka potions, and you think, I know, I'm going to switch to flames. So you start blasting that thing, and, and you're hitting it. You can track it, you can hit it, you can move it, but it's just not doing enough damage. And you think to yourself, man, if only I had a stronger version, you know, a stronger version of flames, and then, you know, I could do something with that. But you don't. Because for whatever reason, they decided not to include something like that. No, you only have those novice level spells. Woo, man, dizzy. So what are you supposed to do? Nothing. You just have to live with it. And then what about that time you head down into Riverwood, you think, yeah, I'm going to stop in the Alvor, I'm going to go buy a few ingots, go to the Riverwood Trader, say hi to Lucan and Camilla, sell a few potions or whatever. As you're crossing the street, a dragon attacks, lands in the middle of town, you get ready to fire that chain lightning spell at it and then realize, oh, wait, I can't do that because that spell's going to jump and hit the guards and then they're going to come after me. Well, what good is it if you can't use it half the time? Well, just use the, you know, use the non-area effect. Oh, wait, you don't have one. You know, I've always been... It's, I, I really, really, really do like Skyrim a lot. Uh, but there are some areas, especially in the area of magic, where they really came up short. Now, I just made a Conjuration spell mod called uh, the Conjurer's Compendium to help make up for some of the deficiencies in the Conjuration tree. But they really let us down when it comes to destruction, I feel. If only there were some other options, you know what I mean? Hey, look, a barrel. I wonder what's in here. Spell tomes. Look at them. And it looks like they're all destruction spells. Oh, man. Expert flames. Master flames. Master sparks. This can't be true. Is this, is this for real? Let's find out. Introducing the Destruction Mage's Compendium. I'm on a compendium kick lately. These spells here aim to remedy all those problems I was just talking about before. So, for example, we have Apprentice Flames right here. It's just like Flames, the novice level Flames. But it's stronger. And what I did is uh, I increased the damage by 50% and the magicka cost by 50% for each level. Because I thought after looking at the all the spells that were available and what their damage was and what the magicka cost was, that looked to be pretty much in line with how things were working. Uh, for example, um, Firebolt is the apprentice level fire spell. Does 25 damage. Um, 
Then you look at Fireball, the add-up level does 40 damage. Well, that's... It's a little over 50% increase. And then you look at Incinerate, that does 60 points of damage. That's exactly a 50-point increase over Fireball. So I kept things in line with that. As you can see, there's uh, Apprentice Flames, yeah, Adept Flames, Expert Flames, Master Flames. I did the same with uh, Frostbite, Sparks. Now, I mentioned before that you have uh, your add up spells are all area of effect. And, you know, there's, there's problems with that. Using the higher level spells is what's going to increase your destruction skill. But if you're in position where there's friendlies around, or maybe you have a follower that's doing some tanking for you, you can't use that fireball, even if you want to, because you're going to damage your uh, follower. And either get them cheesed off, or maybe you can get them killed. So there's a lot of... I don't know if it's a lot, but there's too many situations, I feel, where you just can't use those. So you kind of feel like you're stuck using apprentice spells until your skill gets high enough that you can get the, the uh, expert level. Which is going to take a lot longer because you're only using apprentice spells. So, I fixed that too. I made three apprentice level spells. We've got Fire Blast. Now this does... Well, it says 50 points of damage because I have the, uh, I have the perk. Uh, augmented Flames. But native, it's 40 points of damage. It's the same cast cost and the same damage as uh, Fireball, but there's no area effect. This is safe to use around friendlies and followers. I also made Ice Shard. It looks like Ice Spike. It's not like that Ice Storm or whatever. It looks like Ice Spike. There's no area effect, but it still does the same damage. 40 points of damage. And then I made High Voltage. Which does the same damage as Chain Lightning. Now, it does not jump to other targets. It's just like Lightning Bolt. It even says that. Bolt the Lightning does 40 points of damage. So, it is appropriate add up level, but no area of effect. Safe to use when that damn dragon lands in the middle of town. But I didn't stop there. Because I made three master level destruction spells too. We have Inferno. This one does, well, it's 90. I had the, the perk again, so it's showing a little bit more. But it's native, it's 90 points of damage, which is 50% more than Incinerate. And again, non area of effect. You know, our other master level option is that one with the really long wind up, and it's a huge area effect. It's an impressive spell. I think it's uh, Firestorm, I think is what it's called. Uh, really, really impressive uh, spell, but clearly you're not going to want to use that in the middle of town where there's other people around. Uh, and it has that long wind-up. And the problem with those are, if you get hit when you're in the middle of that, that animation, usually it knocks you back and you have to start that animation over again. And I've had times where I tried like four times in a row to set off a master level spell and couldn't do it because I kept getting hit by something. So... This one just works like any other spell. Just let it fly in one hand and you're done. And I made a, a nice spell. 90 points of damage. It looks just like a Icy Spear. I call it Ice Lance because, you know, Spike, Spear, Lance. I, I didn't know what else to call it. I don't really like that name, but, you know, it's a good... It's a, it, it's a good frost spell. 90 points of damage is pretty good. 50% higher than the uh, Icy Spear. And then I have the Shock spell called Megawatt. And again, 90 points, no area of effect. Now there are a few other spells there. I will talk about them a little bit later. But right now, we need to go test these out. If I can... 
if I can find a if I can find the codes, I can use a console command to drum up uh, some bandits, but uh, I didn't get those. So we may have to wander around a little bit. Uh-oh, who are these people? Whoops. Um, I'll tell you who they are. Victims. They're victims. What do you say we start with, uh, you know, I've always been a fan of fire and ice. How about ice shard and fire blast? Uh-oh, I'm a little outnumbered here. All right, let's see what, uh... here, let's try expert flames. Been going on about these. Yeah, go to third person view. Frost won't work too well on these Nords. Where are you going? Stop sneaking up on me, you and your, your psycho demonic horse. All right, let's see what else we can find to pick on. Let's try an ice lance. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know exactly where this one's going. Right up in there. <laughs> ah, I need help. <laughs> Didn't you get the memo? Don't turn your back on me. That's what happens. All right, should have had these out before we started the video. Not well prepared, but let's drum up a few bandits here and see what happens. First things first, uh, I'll draw. I'll, I'll get up some lower level bandits. Let's try some uh, apprentice flames, and we'll try some. No, let's try sparks. Let's try apprentice flames and apprentice sparks. Huh? Is someone there? Come on. Wake up, you guys. Well, that was pretty easy. And that was just Apprentice Flames. They do 12 points of damage. And I turn the page so I can't give you the magic it costs right off hand. I should have these memorized as much as I've been doing this. Thirty-six. Okay, let's get uh, let's get a few more bandits up here. Oh, you know what we can do? We can go slap around those guys at Helgen. That'll be interesting. Uh, let's try. Let's go to Adept. Adept. Uh, should we do the ice shard? Now let's try 
Let's try Adept, Frostbite, and High Voltage. Yeah. We'll go slap around these guys up here in Helgen. So the purpose of this mod mainly is just to give us some options and really it's things that I feel should have been in the game in the beginning. Um, you know my little opening thing there with the talking about the ice wraith that that's that happens that that happened to me that's happened to me more than once where I encountered those things and uh, you know I'm, I'm throwing down firebolt and can't hit it I also can't pick a lock but you know we won't we won't go too far into that all right where are these fools at Oh, yeah, he didn't last long. Oh, yeah, long, slow kill cams. All right, where are you? Quick, he's got a ward. Well, that was just a little too easy. But well, I wanted some tougher competition. This is not tough for competition. Should I uh, drum up a dragon? I tell you what, if I'm going to get a dragon up, I'm going to get... Well, this is an add-up spell. Here we go, I'll get... I'll get add-up sparks... In the left, and high voltage in the right. Let's drum us up a dragon and see what happens. See, I'll turn my page again. Now I don't have my console commands in front of me. Man, you think after all the videos I've done, I would know how to put together a proper video and not be doing stupid stuff like this. All right, um... All right, Scaleback, what do you got? See if these are enough to keep him from shouting. These are both add up level spells. They might not be. Uh, uh, the. See what I mean about the whole moving around thing all the time? Alright, keep one steady stream on him with the left hand. You can't shout. There we go. Done and done. With adept spells. Now he's just a low level dragon, you know. It's not anything too tough. I can bring up a tougher dragon, but I'm about to switch out to the master spells. Or summon my some one of my little buddies from my uh, conjuration spell mod. Very excellent mod. Well, there's more bandits down in Helgen Keep, but they're pretty weak, so I don't know if it's even uh, uh, worthwhile to go mess with those guys. But there might be a big fight between some Stormcloaks and Imperials over the hill. We can go, uh, you know, butt in. Because, you know, that's just the way I am. I just want to help people resolve their differences. I'm actually going to enter, enter, wait, what's the word I want to say? No, I can't think of it now.
introduce my that's not the word I wanted but I guess it'll work introduce my version of fairness I kill everybody that way nobody wins so let's see I talked about the three uh, the three master level spells actually since I brought it up let's try them out we've got Inferno and we've got Megawatt we're going to go with that one because these guys, half of them are Nords, and so I'm not going to bother with the, with the Ice Bell. And then after that, we're going to take a look at some very unique spells that I have. Now, if you've watched any of the videos or you're familiar with the Conjurer's Compendium mod, you might have some idea what they are. And essentially, I had to make a bunch of these spells for my, for that mod, for the for the conjugal characters. I had to make the spell effects, and then the spells. So all I was, what I was able to do was, uh, duplicate those, give them a unique ID, and save them to the new mod. And the only thing I really had to do after that was uh, make the spell tomes. Obviously, the fire spells are going to do more damage because I have that perk, Augmented Flames. Or, we can just bring up Master Flames and just cook everybody. There we go. That's efficiency. What do you two think you're gonna do? Burn. I gotta clean things up a little bit, you know. There we go. Detente. That's fairness. Nobody wins. Now see, now there's no sore losers. Hey, it's the drug dealer. I think he needs some ice shards. Oh wait, is it Maik or is it a drug dealer? Ah, check him out, he's moonwalking. What's the matter, man? He's moving kind of slow. Well, I don't know about you, but anything that flies that high ought to have a flight attendant on it, you know? Alright, let's find us a nice clear opening where there's no angry wildlife lurking around. That was a joke, man. Didn't you? That was a, was a joke. Get away from me. Disease ridden filth. Oh, yeah, that was a good shot, huh? Now he's all spazzed out. You know what to do. Looks like I angered a rabbit. Damn. My ass is grass now. Whoa. Did something just fall from the sky again? 
I, I wasn't sure because I just about ran into a tree. Yep. Well, that bear is probably up here, so I might have to contend with that thing. Or maybe a troll. There he is. Wow, he hasn't uh, come after me yet. Uh, I am going to try and deal with this thing as quickly as possible. Ha! You should not disease anybody today, are you? Badass. Well, there's not really any place here with a, a nice big opening. Well, let's go down here. Okay, now... What to do... If you find yourself surrounded by, oops, Draugr. Well, I'll show you what you do. Um, it's not in here. Forget destruction. Forget flames. Oh, wait. It didn't put it here. I didn't read them yet. Uh-oh. Hang on, guys. I gotta read a book. Okay. Can we stop fighting long enough for me to read a couple of books? How come these Draugr, low-level Draugrs are all chicks? Okay. Apprentice... Sunfly, sunfire, sunfly, sunfire. This is essentially the same thing as the sunfire spell you get with uh, the Dongar DLC. Only to get that one, you have to get it through the Dongar DLC, and you have to join the Dongar. If you join a vi vampire clan, you don't get it. But what if you want to join a vampire clan? You play as a vampire for a while, and they say, "Ah, well, you know, I'm going to go get cured. I've had enough being a vampire." You can't get this stuff. So now you can. And there's also a sun cloak, which will do five points of damage. It's, it's a cloak. It does five points of damage uh, per second to anything within 10 feet of you. So, first thing we're going to do is pop the sun cloak. And then we'll just start letting this fly. Yeah, come on here. Right next to me, take some sun damage. There you go. But, I hear you say, what if you get encounter some tougher Draugr? Let's see what happens then. Alright, these guys are a little bit tougher, so we're going to step it up a little bit. Let's try Adept Sunfire. We'll get, the, the, we'll get the, the new cloak. We're kind of trapped here. As a matter of fact, let's see. Well, that's an expert level. Here's an add-up level. There's one thing you can do. Oh, he's too powerful for that? Oh, that's right. He's a Scourge. Alright, hey, no problem. I got something for that, too. I created this spell right here. Turn Greater Undead Plus. Specifically for that reason. It's a Drugger Scourge. Yeah, you just keep running. Might need a stronger 
fire spell. Where'd that other one go? There you are. You stand there looking all scared. Alright, where did he go? Well, this is not doing as much damage as uh, what my summons are doing. You know what I really wanted was a concentration spell like flames. I, I don't know if that's possible though because of the way this stuff looks. I mean I can make one but I don't know if it's going to look like this. Okay, Scourge. Let's give you a uh, expert. Um, where's my expert sunfire? Here we go. We need something with a little more punch. There. That'll keep you running, and then I'm just gonna beat the crap out of you with this. See how, see what I mean about hitting moving targets? Is that all of them? Well, I realized one thing. I can't sling down spells quite as fast as uh, my summons can. Anyway, that's a taste of it. As you can see, we've got Apprentice, Sunfire, and Suncloak. We've got Adept, Sunfire, and Suncloak. Sometimes I think the uh, Sun Cloak is a little overrated. Well, all of them for that matter. But uh, there's an Expert, Sunfire, Sun Cloak, and the Master Level versions. And this one does uh, 81 damage. It's, you know, a fair amount. Unfortunately, there's no Augmented Restoration perk, I don't think. Um, but I did create this Turn Greater Undead Plus. This works on Draugr up to level 26, which will work on... Um, That'll work on Draugr up to Hulking Draugr. And then, if you want the Master Level spell for Turn Undead, it's Bane of the Undead. But that's an Area Effect spell. It works on Draugr up to level 35, but it's Area Effect. So, I created Turn Grand Undead. And this will work on most, but not all, Draugr Death Lords and uh, Death Overlords. Um, so... Let, let's uh, let's boot up a couple of them and see what happens. No shouting. Boy, this spell's got a, a long wind up to it. You see how they're running away though? Now, if you have, uh, I hear that bear. If you have dual casting, you can drop down a stronger spell. That's it. Why are you coming after me, man? Go after that thing. Go after the jogger. There we go. <laughs> I let the jogger deal with that. Not you. You got, you need to get punished. You guys take care of that bear for me. This is going to take a little while. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Let's let's speed up the process a little bit. Um, let's see. Here.
Damn right you smell weakness. He can sling the spells down a little bit faster than me. You don't stand a chance, bone boy. Wrecking him pretty fast. Sometimes I know so hit him with the turn on dead spell, and then they'll hit him with another one like two seconds later. Man, dude, you clean house, man. It would have taken me a month of Sundays to do what you just did. I think he knows. I guess that'll do it. Just a little showcase of what everything is and what it does, and uh, it's a pretty nice, well-rounded group, I think. It pretty well covers everything you need. I like the non-area effect spells. Um, that That's a must-have, you know. It's, I, I hate having a spell and not being able to use it because there's people around you don't want to damage. So, yep, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.